So here we are in the spring of 2013. Mm-hmm. You've been in ISP for four years. Can you take us back even before you joined us in ninth grade? How did you even find out about the school mm-hmm. in the first place? Well, actually, it was uh, really a big coincidence because it was actually my aunt who found an advertisement in the newspaper for the upper school program, scholarship program on ISP, and uh, gave it to my mom. And she was like, yeah, you, sh- you should try that. You know, like, there's nothing to lose. So I was like, yeah, why not? And so I came here and did the test, did the interview with you, Mr. Rubesh, and then I got asked to be uh, here again for the second round. So I was here. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't think I did well because I understood like half of the things people were saying to me. <laughs> and but in the end, I, my mom got the call from the administration and she, she got to know that I was accepted. So changing languages, of course, was important. Mm. What else after nine, you were nine years in the Czech public school system. What else was different for you that you remember? Well, I remember that uh, the overall atmosphere was uh, really different, that uh, the teachers were really open, you know, like uh, you could really come to them and uh, talk to them and uh, ask if you didn't know something or didn't really understand something so you could go and ask. What are some of the things maybe not only in the academic program but just as part of the experience Mm. that you think have really benefited you in in international education? I like to say that I think that Czech school provided me with uh, a lot of knowledge but then I didn't really know how to how to share it and how to communicate it and then I came to ISP and actually that that got me to speak up and share my knowledge. So I think that was, the combination of the two was really good for me. Tell us a little bit about the things outside of regular classes. Mm-hmm. You've been involved in some, some activities, some clubs. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, in ninth grade when I came, I was not really involved in many clubs because I was still like getting used to the environment and everything. But then in 10th grade, I actually came to uh, cross country and speech and debate. And these two activities became like the principal extracurricular activities for me. Um, So I've uh, traveled for uh, several tournaments with cross country. Um, I've traveled for several tournaments with uh, speech and debate. These two were also very important for me because before I wouldn't have thought that I would actually be good in any sport. Um, and then there was cross country and I actually made the traveling team, so it was, it was good. Do you think you have any regrets about changing the, what you, until ninth grade, you expected your life was gonna go maybe in one particular direction and at least changing schools, changing, mm. changing the community. Do mm. you have any regrets? I can't really, uh, keep in touch with my friends uh, from old school. So that's, that's one of the things that's changed for me. What would you tell someone who's thinking of moving from the, a, a Czech school to, to ISP? Tak řekl bych, že určitě to stojí za zvážení, určitě je to dobrá příležitost. Řekl bych, že Tahle škola vám může hodně dát, může vás hodně naučit. Je to zase něco jiného než česká škola. A, a, ale nemusíte se bát, že by ten na vás byli zlí nebo něco, protože všichni se tady opravdu úžasní lidé. Takže je to, je to na vás, ale rozhodně to stojí what do you wish that someone had told you in person or on video yeah. who had come in the years ahead of you as a Czech scholarship student? Řekl bych, že pro mě byl problém angličtina a 
Ale zase asi kdyby mi někdo řekl, že za pár měsíců se to zlepší a že uh, to bude jednodušší, takže by to bylo uh, lehčí pro mě v těch prvních měsících. Um, a different question now, which we could do in English. Uh, there are different individuals and corporations that are interested in sponsoring the scholarship program at ISP. Mm-hmm. What would you tell them about if they're thinking about that opportunity? I think it's uh, well, certainly I, I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing to um, help somebody uh, actually go on an entirely different track than he would ever imagine. Uh, for example, I would never imagine going to Abu Dhabi to university. And uh, I think uh, it's a good thing. But I don't know, what should I say? I like don't expect to to have the students like branded, you know, and be like your uh football team player. Uh but uh it's it's about it's about helping someone uh succeed in in life and uh that person is really grateful for that, uh, and that's uh, really good. <laughs> Great. Super. Well, thank you very much for all, all the things that you've shared with us, and we wish you success in the future. Thank you, and I want to thank you and uh, all the teachers at ISP and all the administration because, yeah, I, I've seen you four and a half years ago, and I see you now at the end of the, the brute for me, and uh, it's really, really nice looking back to everything that you've done for me and uh, everyone at the school. And yeah, I want to thank that for that as well. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Very nice. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you.